what's up party people and what's up mom welcome back to my channel uh, if you're new here my name is Jen and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark and I have a pretty big Goodwill outlet haul for you guys today um, it's been a couple of days since I've actually got this stuff so I kind of forgot what I picked up so it might be a little bit new to me um, but anyway I got 38 pounds um, at the Salt Lake City Goodwill outlet and I paid $1.49 per pound so total I paid $56.62 on this entire haul grab yourself a drink it's gonna be a long one <laughs> So let's just jump right in. Um, this was somebody's throwback. Uh, it's Arcteryx, size medium. Um, it does have embroidery on the back for a company, Whitefish Credit Union, so it's a bank. But I don't care. <laughs> I am still going to sell it. I can't believe they threw this back. I believe it's down. Downfill, let's see. Hmm. Lining. I don't want to be here too long. Come on, shell. Lining. I don't know if, no, lining's like over here. Anyways, I'll have to look into that later. It does need a wash, um, which most of this stuff does. So, I got this as well. This is Swim by Kashik which is, I think it's, it's Lane Bryant or Tori or Torrid's, um, Intimates, but this is a swim skirt, polka dot, really cute. It's a size 22 and there's the under, if you care, <laughs> I don't know why I showed you that, but there she is. Next, I got this. This was like hidden, but it's Levi 505s. They're brand new with tags. Here they are. MSRP $59.50. Goodwill wanted $15 for these. So yeah, I love new tags at the bins. Okay, let's see, what are you? Oh, this is cute. Uh, this is Torrid, size 22. This is like a pinup style dress. So it's got these polka dots. It's got a sweetheart neckline, empire waist, fit and flare. It's black, it needs to be washed. But oh my gosh, how cute is this? I love finding Torrid at the bins. Looks like I have a couple of bags and shoes. Oh, here, let me do this clothing item. I think I might keep this one actually. It's who, what, where, which is just Target. It's a size eight, but it's a snake printed pencil skirt with a slit in the front. Sexy kind of just this with like a graphic tee. That's what I thought when I picked that up. I'm going to throw this over there. There's one more clothing item in here. Oh, it's American Eagle. These are men's size 33 and they're just some distressed gray shorts there they are and this is oh they're the next level flex which I like um, this is the newer American Eagle if you can see that so there's that okay bags this is a fossil bag it's like this greenish color it reminds me of Judy and Burke. Always this green and brown combo. Um, but it's not. It's fossil. And, you know, if you've been following me, you know that I don't love fossil bags. That's just because they don't sell well for me. But I've decided I'm going to start putting fossil bags in my 2 for 20 closet. So that's what this one's going to go. And the inside's in great shape. Real great shape. So, yeah, just a cute little shoulder bag. There's the side there. It's dusty on the bottom, but 
I will fix that. I don't know. I might keep this one. It's a leather, Wilson's leather mini backpack. I looked up comps and they sell for like 30 or so. But how cool would it be? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. It does have a couple pen marks. I need a backpack. I decided that I need a backpack when I'm going thrifting. So I think this is going to be it for me. It has adjustable straps there. I'm going to have to put it on the longer one because when I actually found it, I put it on uh, and then continued searching. But anyway, I got a couple of pairs of shoes in here. Um, these ones are dirty. I'm going to have to clean them up. They're just little sandals like so. And they're a camper. And I have found camper in savers before, but they wanted too much for it. And I don't really know how these campers do, to be honest. I don't, I have no idea. This one, the footbed needs some cleaning. Not a big deal. They're a size... 36 so we'll see how those do I have no idea <laughs> I've just heard people talking about them so I picked them up these I got based off of style because look they're super cute they're a little dirty which is fine I'll clean it um, but they are here let me show you this one T Tahari and this is leather little platform wedgy type of shoe it's the Gisela. These are a size six. I really like these. I didn't comp these at all. I just got them based off of style. That and spring and summer's coming up. And then these bad boys look almost brand new. Uh, they are the North Face. Uh, Hydro Seal, waterproof. They're women's size eight and a half gray and purple shoe those were steel this was in a picked over bin I guess nobody saw this that's what I saw that made me grab at it okay that one's done Let's grab this one here I got this to send a thread up I only got it because it's new with button and it's a hundred percent silk I kind of looked it up it's like a lag and look brand let me button this. Or not a lag and look, like an art to wear brand. Uh, so it looks like tweed, but it's 100% silk. And then it has these wooden buttons. And it's called the Territory Ahead. Never heard of it. Size large. So we'll see how it does at Thread Up. Oh, here's another bag. <laughs> this is couch. And what color is this? I have no idea. It is coming up true to color. It's crossbody. And this is like brand new. Like there's only, there's surface spots on it, but I can get surface stuff out of patent leather with just rubbing alcohol. But the inside, oh, it does have a couple of marks in there, but barely like come on you can't see that but yeah coach purse you can't beat it at the bins crossbody it looks really well really well <laughs> whatever I'm probably gonna sell it in my two for 20 but this bad boy is brand new like it smells brand new let me turn it around duty and Burke some lady had this in her hand about to throw it like in the next bin over. And I was like, don't you treat Dooney like that? And I caught it. <laughs> and it has this cute little buckle here, Dooney and Burke all over. It smells so good. Look, it even has, uh, if I can show you. So the inside, it has like this little foam thing in it <laughs> to keep the shape which I'm just gonna leave in there. And it does have this thing, which only authentic Dooney and Burks have this thing on the inside and it's brand new. Nothing's ever been on the inside of this. 
has a little bit of like a you can't even really see it it's just dusty so we'll just have to clean it up and boom baby boom this is gonna be killer oh there's a little sticker inside and it says L-U-I-S-A, Louisa bag. I'm gonna see if that's the name of this. So we'll keep that in there. But this is a score. This will, this alone will pay for my entire haul. Yep. Okay, now we have, this is mixed. Usually I put like shoes in one bag with purses and, and stuff like that and clothes in the other, but this is mixed. This is the first thing that I found, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so it's a mock neck, fully sequined mini dress. How cool is that? And then on the back, it just has like it's stretchy. And then the skirt. Um, I think this might be vintage, but I'm not sure. I have some looking up to do. But it is an adult size extra large. That's what it says. Adult extra large. So that's exciting. This is so cool. This is why I love the bins. For stuff like this. I'm going to put this over here. I don't want that to snag on anything. Um, I got a swim top. It's like tankini style. It's from... Garnet Hill and it's a size 8 and I've already been selling swimsuits so if you have some laying around list them because they're selling. Uh, this I got based off of style. It'll go in my 2 for 20 closet. I don't love this brand. If it doesn't sell I'm gonna keep it. It's a size large. Stripes are my favorite. It's like a quarter three quarter sleeve. Is it button front? Yep, button front shirt. Oh, I got this because it's cashmere. Where, here it is. Yeah, I need to look up the RN. It doesn't say what the brand is. At least I haven't found it yet, but it's a cashmere sweater or a uh, scarf. And it just says if I can get it together. 100% cashmere and then the RN is 17730 so I'm just gonna look that up and see what brand this is and I might just save this and then send it to thread up hmm, or I'll send it to thread up now I don't know I haven't decided this reminded me of Hazel Hart's vintage it's a Shakti dress. It's an XL size 18. Uh, just short sleeve. This is, yep, it's a cute little split neck here. Color block fit and flare dress. So cute. Love that. And then it has a zip down the back. Oh, and it has pockets. All right. Oh, yeah, maybe I will because I did. I got these. Beanies. So this one is um, uh, Timberland. I was gonna say, don't tell me, but it's not like you can tell me. <laughs> and then this one is Topshop, new with tags. So maybe I am, or I decided while I was there that I'm gonna just start saving stuff for winter already. Okay, it looks like the rest of this stuff is shoes in this bag. Um, so these are leather boots. They are. Meryl. Oh, here it says Meryl. Meryl. Let me put one down. They have a full zip on the inside, full leather. They have this uh, fabric stuff in the front and back. These are a US 8 and they're a wedge, obviously. Boot season's going away, but I can't at the bins. So these are the Larkspur boot. So I will just look up Meryl Larkspur. 
They do have some cracking on the toes. Yeah, you can see that. Just that toe. Uh, so, of course, I'll just... Oh, Vibram sells. So, I'll just mention that and they'll still sell. And put those with the shoes. These are Corky's. I wish these were my size. What size are you? They're an eight. They're a leather sandal. Here's the other one. This is what all Corky's bottoms look like. So if you see this in the bin, grab it. <laughs> uh, it just needs a little bit of cleaning and then it'll be good to go. I'm gonna send these to thread up. This brand doesn't do well for me. Uh, they're Donald J. Pliner. They're a wedge and they have a peace sign studded. That's pretty cute, huh? And uh, they're a size eight and a half. They're called Sheba. They say S-H-E-B-A, Sheba. I don't know. Hopefully they do well there. I'll just clean them up and then off they go. Donald J. Pliner, made in the mountains of Italy. That's what it says there. Well, isn't that nice? All right, these I got for me. They're an ankle boot, unless I can figure out what they are. The inside is rubbed off, except for the very end. I see E-L-E -E in cursive. Let's see. This one's rubbed off even worse, but they don't say anything on the bottom except for made in Spain and size 41. Uh, but yeah, they're real leather uppers. And I just wear to death. I have a pair of ankle boots that are similar to this. Uh, they just zip on the inside and I wear them to death. They're my only ankle boot. Um, so I needed another pair. I actually took my shoes off and tried these on while I was at the bins because 41 is usually like a size 10 but they they fit me and I'm a size 9 so anyways those are mine let's see we got some Sanooks I'm gonna start picking these up for my 2 for 20 closet as long as they're in good condition Sanooks uh, these are a size 7 and I have a pair of these and they're really comfy I wore them to death in Mexico they're so comfy. These are also going in my 2 for 20 closet. They're born clogs. Um, they're leather. They're size 7. Really good condition. Just got to clean them up. And off they go. Here's another 2 for 20 deal. They are bobs. These are the ones that have like an actual sole on the bottom brown these are a size eight and a half it's brown bobs and then i think this is the last shoe i have one more bag but i don't i think all of that is clothing so these are the last shoe uh here they're i think you call it saucony saw i have no idea <laughs> to be honest these are the triumph 152 uh, ever run shoes anyways they're a size eight and a half and they're in really good condition yeah so there are those shoes i'm getting through this a lot faster than i thought i saw three bags and i was like oh this is gonna take forever i actually found this at the bins this bag uh, it's John Barbados. Um, so I'm going to send this bag to the real real, even though on this it says your gift. So it's like a duffel bag gift with purchase type thing. doesn't matter. I'm going to send it. <laughs> and so let's open it. Ooh, I remember this. I remember this is Under Armour size medium. Camouflage Whoop. hoodie. And it doesn't specify whether it's male or female. Let's see. It's 
female. Female. I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna keep it. Even though I want to. I'm not going to. Uh, I think a lot of this is two for 20. So I put uh, Under Armour hoodie in my two for 20 and it got like so much interest and finally sold yesterday or today. Anyways, this is Victoria Sport, size medium. These are really quality leggings, they feel like. Uh, they are, what, snake print, pink, full length leggings. So I grabbed those. Um, this is just the North Face, size extra large, men's, A5 series long sleeve shirt okay we have another bottom oh these are levi's 535 legging and these i couldn't figure out levi's are so funny with their sizes is this a size 15 like is that a thing i don't know i'll have to look it up because that's all I see as far as numbers go. But they're just a dark wash, skinny, super stretchy. That's why they're jeggings. But they have a black tab on the back, which is cool. So. There. These are overalls. They're Forever 21. Ow. Size US 27 and their overalls. Oops. Hold on now. There we go. Just dressed, pockets hanging out. Overalls. And the back, if you care. There we go. Okay, this one is free people, size large. And this is, this is gonna need some trimming. So it's got a raw edge here, but it's gone out of control in some spots like this. So I'm gonna need to trim it a little bit, but it's uh, oversized stripey long sleeve. Yeah, look at the bottoms there. Yikes, I almost just left it there. But I mean, trimming's not a big deal. If it had a big hole, then I would have left it, but I can do some trimming. Size large. And then, <laughs> what are you? Okay. American Eagle, size medium. This is just a stripe, lightweight cardigan. Here we are. Yes, open front, waterfall type deal. Looks like this is the last thing. Yes, and now we're done. And I got it based off of style. <laughs> it's who, what, where, target, size, medium, leopard print, top. I will not stop with the leopard print tops. I got a couple from H&M in other bins hauls and they've already sold in my two for 20 closet. So even though this is Target brand, if this was a size large, I would keep it. This is like my favorite kind of leopard print. So, but it's not, and it's a button down shirt. Uh, it is V-neck, here, let me, I know this is the last thing and it's not that exciting, but I wanna show you. There, I just did the top button, but it's V-neck and then button down. Anyway, that's it. That's it for my haul of 38 pounds, $56.62. If you like Goodwill Outlet hauls, subscribe because I do a lot of them. Hit the thumbs up before you go, but y'all don't forget to stay weird.